today's video, you know, I've started the last few videos saying today's video is going to be a little bit different, but it is. I'm going to try something else. Um, I'm venturing, this isn't going to be really a tech review, so if tech reviews aren't your thing, you're in luck. Probably hear that paper flopping around. Um, but not really a review. Today I'm going to do a comparison, but not in the typical way. It's not going to be like new camera versus new camera, anything like that. I'm going to see how far technology has come in a five and a half year time frame using stuff that I have laying around. And for those that may want to start a vlog or something on an absolute budget, and I'm talking like even the $120 elf is out of your budget. This might be of interest to you. So essentially what I have is, see, wait, wait, wait. I, all right, I'm going to start. I was going to do a natural light for indoor use because I know for a fact that the Nikon, wow, that was really close to my face. The Nikon does not do the best low light, especially indoors. Um, so I was going to do some natural light, but today the sun is not quite, I say that and you can see that's bright behind me, but I promise you that that's from the lights. Uh, that's artificial. It's not that the sun's not cooperating is the bottom line, but what we have, this is the Nikon Coolpix L110. This was actually released in February of 2010. So as of this point, it is seven and a half years old. Now, I know that in the world of technology, seven and a half years is like a lifetime, especially, you know, when everybody, the majority of people are using their phones anyway, so this may not even apply to most people, but in phone years, it's ancient. Uh, however, in the professional camera business, um, Canon is still using, or they, they were as of the T6 series, using a four-year-old sensor. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to downplay that. I know Canon does upgrades every, every time they do a release, but before we get to the Canon, we're talking about the Nikon, uh, the Nikon L110, it was released in February, 2010. It is a 12.1 megapixel sensor. It is a considered a small sensor camera, which is part of the reason why it does, uh, not as well in low light, uh, in indoor situations. Um, it has a 3.5 aperture which uh, attributes to the, the low light, um, but the M3, I'll get to that. Um, it has no image stabilization, which is a, a, could probably a deal breaker on a lot of things. But basically, this camera, we got this when my son was born. Um, he was born July 2010. He's now seven years old. So this camera, we have had for seven years. So just to give you an idea of why I'm doing this, it's because we had it. I didn't go seek out a cheap thing, uh, but these are trending on eBay. The, the Nikon trending on eBay for about $36. So if you don't have money for something new uh, and you want something that will do 720p video at 30 frames per second and will not break, not only not break the bank, but you know, be super budget friendly. This is probably going to do you much better than any of the little, uh, like the Vivitar or whatever the point and shoots are on the Walmart rack for 30 bucks, you get a better camera with this, but we'll, we'll cut to the video comparison here in just a second. Uh, we are comparing it to my current vlogging setup camera, the Canon M3 mirrorless. I've already done a walk around. So if you, uh, or if you're super interested in why we got it, um, go back and check my old vlogs. Uh, I'm not going to do anything cause it won't let me, if I do in screens, I can't do, little things here and there. Um, but the M3, the, one of the reasons I got it, like I said in the video is because the external microphone jack, but because I am comparing it to the Nikon, the Nikon does not have an external microphone jack. So both comparisons are going to be using the onboard microphones. Um, the Nikon one is an up top microphone. This one actually does really well compared to some of the newer Nikons. This one actually has better sound than a lot of the newer Nikons with this same body style and the cool picks. Uh, Canon has the dual left and right channel onboard microphone, which is uh, one of the reasons that I like it because if I'm using it strictly for vlogging and not doing a lot of talking behind the camera, it picks up perfectly if I don't have the boom mic attached. Um, but the Canon M3 is a mirrorless camera, which essentially it has a lot of the features of a digital SLR, but in a slimmer package because there's no viewfinder, no mirror, 
Um, this particular one, the M3, has a 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor. Uh, does 1080p video at 30 frames per second, 720p at 60 frames per second. It has Wi-Fi and NFC and NFC. Uh, it's trending right now on eBay at about 450 ish dollars. You can get it for about 400 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just the body. I just looked up the trending. I, I don't know if that's body lens kit. This particular one was refurbished from Canon during their Christmas sale for $350. With the 18 to 55 lens, this lens also has a 3.5 aperture, and because of the, the lights, it doesn't want to focus. Um, this is a 3.5 to 5.6 aperture, which is almost identical. The Nikon has a 3.5 to 5.4. But the other thing about this, uh, if you cannot find it on the refurbished sale and you are looking at a vlogging camera, like specifically for vlogging, because I mentioned this one has the external microphone jack, Canon's official website is selling this full kit with the 18 to 55 lens and a Rode microphone in what they're calling the video creator kit for $599. And that's camera, microphone, and everything you need for it. If you're not looking at that, um, even if none of that really interests you, I just personally thought this would be a neat social experiment to see how much camera tech, because I know that phones, every single year there's something new, something more exciting, so they're slamming smaller sensors, bigger sensor, slamming bigger, better cameras into tinier, slimmer phones. Phone technology is advancing constantly. I wanted to see what actual camera you know, what you're getting for your money in today's market, what the advances are showing on a camera system that with five and a half year gap. So I'm going to cut straight to that now. I right. uh, pressed the button both at the same time on both. So hopefully this one's zooming, syncing up, um, autofocus, not sure how it's working. Again, the M3 has a flip up LCD screen. So I can frame myself, see how I look, and then look at the camera. Or you'll notice most of the time I'm looking above. Anytime you see me looking above the lens, it is because I'm looking at that LCD screen to make sure I'm framed properly. It's a bad habit. It's one of the reasons I like to wear sunglasses when I vlog. But it's neither here nor there. Right now, I'm talking directly into the Canon using the Canon's onboard microphone. I'm hoping that I'm framed properly at the Nikon because I'm going to switch. Right now, I'm using the Nikon's onboard microphone. I am slightly lower trying to get a good frame um, in the camera itself. And as I discussed, the microphone is on top. But this is about arm's length, and if I were holding it up above me, I might have a better angle at that microphone. But the way I'm sitting now, this is directly on. So this audio is coming straight from the Nikon. I'm not using any external microphones on either of these. I'm back to the Canon now. Um, I'm assuming the Canon is gonna have a better audio quality, but again, this is for straight up comparison. This is for me as much as everybody else. Fun social experiment. Um, I'm gonna take my son's little tripod that's like a version of the Joby that I use and I'm gonna put it on the Nikon and I'm gonna see if I can get some outdoor shots with better dynamic lighting because right now we are inside using the studio lighting that my wife has for her eBay business. I kinda hijacked that. Uh, but we'll see, we'll, we'll, I'm gonna get a typical day of what I would do, well, not what I would do because I haven't done a whole lot of vlogs, but I'm going to try and get a day of what a normal person would do walking around if they wanted to record something. I'm going to go outside, do our normal day-to-day, -day, see what the dynamic lighting looks like outside, um, see how it handles lighting with the apertures being as close as they are. Hopefully it'll work. But uh, let's go see. This is a typical in-car shot and audio with the Canon M3 with no external microphone plugged in. What are y'all doing? I'm um, sitting back here with air. Is that everybody buckled? Yeah, got me. Put that water bottle back here. Let's get buckled. Yeah, buckled? Pull your chest clip up. This is a typical in-car shot with the Nikon L110. Again, dynamic lighting. Let's see if this helps with the, uh, the video call. Right there. Everybody good? Yeah. Everyone good to go? Yeah. So, this is the L110 outside. 
beautiful sunshiny day. High exposure, high, you know, just bright lighting. And this is a test. Walkthrough. Similar shot, similar outdoor lighting, Canon M3. Because my wife and I are apparently masochists, we decided to bring three kit. Oh, I'm covering up the microphone. That's another point. If you don't have the tripod thing on the Canon, you gotta watch your finger if you're holding it by the lens, that your finger doesn't cover the microphone. But my wife and I are apparently masochists. Because we decided to bring three kids into Toys R Us. So while I'm doing this, I'll see if I can get in inside. Like if you're in a store in a retail environment, something like that, the lighting, you know, whatever. So this is the M3 and I'm gonna switch the Nikon. And this is same aisle, same lighting, same everything with the Nikon L110. Sponsorship? Hot Wheels? No? Anybody? Back home, back on my phone. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed if you watched any of my videos that usually when I'm on my phone, usually when I'm on my phone at the beginning or just randomly in the middle, you'll hear a crackle. Honestly, it's because it's probably time for me to upgrade my phone and uh, you know, it's not really in the cards right now. Um, that's why, that's what gave me the idea of starting this because I was like digging through old boxes and stuff and I'm like, oh, we still have this Nikon. I was like, man, I wonder how that would handle on a day to day, just take it out and about with me because it's a whole lot easier than carrying the Canon with the lens system and all that. And I thought that getting weird, I thought I got weird looks before when I would go out and vlog with the Canon or, you know, just have it with me. Try having two cameras on tripods. People stare at you. It's weird. Maybe it's just the town that I live in. But uh, yeah, we're back home. I'm gonna try and edit that together as best I can. I'm gonna try to do some split screen. I'm gonna try to do you know really the best that I can do as far as showcasing the audio. I'm not sure how, because I use uh, Vegas or Sony Movie, whatever it became. Um, so however it's gonna take to do that, I'm not sure how it will work with the settings, one being 720p, I think one was set to 1080 might be smaller, might be, ha I, I don't know. I'm going to figure that out. Um, so I haven't even seen it yet. So I can't give a, an actual final comparison. Um, you know, but maybe I'll go over that in my next video. If not, then just, this was just a comparison. Enjoy. Give me your opinion. Leave a comment or something. I don't do you. I don't care. Just, you know, watch my videos. God, stay dorky.